Well, hello everyone. Bike ho, trike ho, Steve Green coming at you again from Steve's Garage. And today I wanted to talk about a couple things. Well, one thing actually, these flags on that I have uh, mounted on my recumbent touring bicycle. These are called Purple Sky Flags and they are available through a company in Portland, Oregon called TerraCycle. T-E-R-R-A-C-Y-C-L-E. -E. You can find that online by just doing the, the letter T, T-Cycle.com, T-Cycle.com, which stands for TerraCycle. Um, the company is owned and operated, it was started by a fellow named Pat Franz, who I met at the uh, Cummins Cyclecon in 2011, and he makes quality stuff. The, uh, his stuff, his, his cycling accessories, there's all kinds of cycling accessories you won't find on Amazon or a lot of other bicycle warehouse type websites where you get cycling gear. And these purple sky flags are, are one thing uh, that you can find there. Now these flags are made out of a very durable material. They're not like a lot of cheap flags that you can buy that deteriorate over time from flapping in the wind and they, get, they ravel and, and all that. This, this is almost kind of, I used to be a windsurfer and it's kind of like sailcloth. And they're not, they're not exceptionally heavy. Uh, actually, they're not heavy at all. And for the safety, I have these so I can be seen on the road. I've always used flagging on my recumbent trikes over the years and uh, now with this recumbent uh, touring uh, bike I have here, this Easy Racer Gold Rush, it has a recumbent seat, so I'm able to mount flags on it. Now, these flags have little uh, streamers up here that uh, flap in the wind on each side. You can mount a second pair down here or move this pair down there if you want. And what's nice about these is, you know, the wind comes up over here and they're not, they don't create a lot of drag because of this aerodynamic design, the way they're shaped. They're a little differently shaped than most flags, having this portion at the top. And with the angles and everything, they don't create the drag. Like I used to have, I used to run that big um, rectangular smiley face flag on my, uh, uh, when I was touring on my trike, and it created a lot of drag. It was flap vigorously in the wind and I could hear it and eventually just kind of tore itself up from wind. But these don't do that. And they have these, these reflective strips right here, uh, re reflective cloth. And, you know, they move around a little bit. I, I cut these, these uh, stems off here shorter. I could, these things I could have run another two or three feet in the air if I wanted to but I don't want to. I want them to be kind of, they're a little taller than I am, I guess, and I want them to be visible to automobiles. I mean, if you're gonna be driving around or riding in, uh, with a bunch of semi-trucks and stuff, I suppose you might want them nine feet high, but I don't want them nine feet high. I want them so a motorist in a regular car or a pickup truck can readily see this. And as you can see, I, have my Ortlieb uh, panniers on the side here. They're not full right now. And I have my Arkel, uh, which is yellow and yellow, yellow. And I have a wrap pack uh, trunk uh, bag from Ortlieb that goes across the top here once I get these panniers filled up. And it's bright yellow. And then I have uh, a safety triangle in the uh, front and I have one in the back just like that. So I believe that the key to safety on the road when you're touring or riding is being highly visible. I see many cyclists who wear black or dark clothing 
um, on dark bikes. They used no flags, no reflective gear, and uh, you can just see when they get in the shadows and stuff, they're hard to they're hard to spot. And yet, if I see a cyclist with a brightly colored vest and flags, yellow bags and things like that, I can spot them way down the road. Like I have a I have a couple of vests too that you've seen probably, and I'll I'll show in, in uh, future videos that I wear. So. And, and I have that yellow helmet now, the bell helmet. <clears throat> um, you know, my head will be up, I don't know, about like this, I guess, when I'm sitting on it. Um, and so I'll have another big swatch of yellow here. But anyway, getting back to the flags, I highly recommend these uh, TerraCycle Purple Sky flags. And you go to t-cycle.com and you can uh, look at these, and I will put a link to their to, to that page, the flag page, the purple uh, sky flag page on TerraCycle. I'll put a link down below or somewhere, and uh, so you can go there and see it. They have all kinds of these. They have them in uh, multi colors, different colors, uh, rainbow colors. Um, they have uh, flags that have the Canadian maple leaf on them. You know, if you're from Canada and you want to. You want to express that. Um, they have some that say cat trike. Um, so if you ride a cat trike, recumbent trike, you can get the same kind of flag that says cat trike. And they, they have uh, even uh, gay and transgender flags if you want to express yourself like that. But the reason I chose these is because they're the bright yellow and nothing shows up better than yellow, okay? Um, you can get orange. I have a cycling friend who uh, is colorblind and he says when he sees orange, it just looks like a brown. But when he sees yellow, it stands out to him even with his color blindness issue. So, these flags are more expensive than traditional bicycle flags. Um, each flag, which includes one of these streamers, you, you can buy, you buy the flags uh, as a single unit, flag, the streamer thing, and the pole, which like I say, I cut off a couple feet of that pole. Um, so it's 60 bucks, 60 bucks for this one, 60 bucks for this one. So you're looking at 120 bucks and then $14 to ship it. Uh, TerraCycle's not like Amazon where if you order a certain amount, uh, they throw in the shipping. They don't do that. Um, and some of you may say, bulk at that, say, oh, I'm not gonna pay 134 bucks to have these two things shipped to my house. Well, okay, you know, we all make our choices, and in the past, I've gone cheap on the flags, and they don't last long, and they cost a lot of wind drag uh, to boot. So, and I've used those those tri triangular red ones that you can buy at sporting goods stores, and, and they just kind of deteriorate over time. And besides that, they don't show up as much as these. So you can see if these things flapping around back there with those streamers and all, they don't create a lot of drag, they're not heavy, and but they last long because of this uh, sailcloth type material they use. So I decided, what's my safety worth? It's just like if you have a cheap head, buy a cheap helmet, as Inspired Cycle Engineering um, says, ice strikes. And so, yeah, if you, <laughs> I have, uh, my body, uh, to me, is very valuable. It may not be worth much chemically, but it's a very, I heard once it's worth 74 cents chemically to the human body. I don't know if that's true, but to me, it's, uh, it's beyond value. And so, I want to show up with the yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow everywhere! And uh, I even have a yellow uh, jacket that I can wear on really cold days. Um, so I would recommend 
heading on over to TerraCycle. If you're looking for some good flags, whether you're on a recumbent bike or a recumbent trike, I mean, I'm sure you could probably mount them on a regular bicycle too. You just have to maybe be a little invent inventive about how you do that. But this cloth here is a reflective strip. This cloth here is a reflective strip. This uh, silk, what looks silver, and then on the other side, it's reflective also. And then the yellow, and then these are reflective. The uh, bright green uh, with the uh, reflective uh, silver strip in it. So I would say I'm very happy with this. I paid 134 bucks, but you know what? It's worth it to me for the peace of mind being seen by motorists and knowing that unlike flags we've had in the past, um, that after a few thousand miles or, or less, a shot, these are going to be around a long time, and they're going to they're going to last me through uh, plenty of riding. So, um, like I say, in my opinion, based on seeing cyclists on the road for years, I think that being highly visible is the foundational key to remaining safe on a bicycle. If you don't want to get hit, you have to be seen. If the motorist is going around curves in a, on a mountain road or something, and, and there's shadows, and you're just wearing all black or dark brown, and you don't have any reflective gear on your bike, and, and they come around the corner, and boom, there you are, and uh, they can't even see it sometimes. I've seen it, I've seen it, and I've had motorists talk to me about it, you know? Yeah, I saw the cyclist and didn't see him till the last seconds, you know? And uh, you know, it was at night and he was wearing all black. <laughs> or, and so yeah, there's all kinds of situations like that. So be safe and be seen. And one way to be seen is flags. I think the flags look great. You know, some people say, oh, I don't want flags. It's, uh, they don't think it's cool or whatever. Well, I tell you what, just like with helmets, you know, the other talk I did on my new Bell helmet. Uh, I like helmets. I like them. I, it's like kind of like a, a uh, utility uniform that I wear. It's, uh, I just like the way they feel and I like the way they look. And the same thing with the flags. I think these flags look good, you know, you're riding along and they're flapping in the wind there like that. And so everybody can see you. And uh, well, that, that's about it, you know, I mean, they're good flags. Go to the TerraCycle uh, website, tcycle.com, and look at them. And I'm sure you'll find a design that you like. And they, they actually have some too that are flags that are small at the top, and they get they're about this deep at the bottom. So that it's like an inverted triangle with a big part of the triangle down here and a little part up here. They have a few like that also, but most of their designs are this kind of design here. Um, which is more aerodynamically efficient. All right, that's about it for TerraCycle Purple Sky Flags. Purple Sky, just remember, Purple Sky. That's what these are called, Purple Sky Flags. And you can't go wrong with them. This is the first pair of them that I have had. And it might be the last pair because I think they're gonna last long, I mean, many, many, many years, you know. So uh, they might outlast me, who knows? <laughs> but I, I uh, recommend you go give those Purple Sky Flags a, a look and uh, don't worry about the money. Uh, you, you put out for these flags once and it's not like you have to get new flags every season because they wear out like you do with a lot of these cheap ones. Uh, you put these on, you forget about them. And so if they're not really as expensive as you think when you, when you run it over the period of years that they're gonna last you. All right, folks, take it easy.